Hey everybody and welcome to Stock Abilities. I'm going to be covering the Naked Brand Group and the upcoming potential Benden Definitive Agreement merger. Of course there hasn't been one yet, but the last day is pretty much upon us, so we're going to see what happens here today if you're watching this video. I'm going to jump into it right here. Now, Naked Brand Group's been all over the place today, but overall it's actually held up and pretty much came right back to what it started with in the beginning of the day and throughout the week here as you can see it's actually still way up now of course it was kind of settled here and then they released some partnership news and a conference from the Roth and then it kind of jumped up and even from this point here at 210 that's still a pretty strong point if you go back a little bit further which this chart is not letting me do but the price has still jumped up from one dollar ish give or take so it's still a pretty strong upwards trend and it doesn't look like the people that initially bought in sold off at this point yet which is a good thing for the merger coming up here I'm gonna go a little bit more specific details here as you can read the material definitive agreement indicates that by March 10th 2017 parties shall have entered into a definitive agreement regarding the business combination before certain penalties may be incurred and then it goes into details about all of that of course this means that they need to file at least file something coming up pretty much today to indicate what exactly they're doing seems kind of cliche to do it at the last minute but at the same time there's been no extensions or anything else indicating that the merger is not going through going a little bit further here the Roth conference some of you might not be aware but the gathering of institutional investors private equity investors VCs company executives and service providers has become a, a must attend event for anyone working in the small and mid cap space there are a lot of investors and a lot of these other people attending so there's going to be a lot of exposure for them Bending and naked, as you can read here, an innovative in fashion design and lifestyle brand today announced that Joel Primus, the president and founder of Naked, and Justin Davis Rice, the director of Naked and executive chairman of Bending Limited, will be attending the 29th annual Roth conference. Now, what's interesting is that it's the executive chairman of Bending Limited and a director of Naked. Now, keep this in mind, that's very important. And of course, you can listen to the audio portion of the presentation, uh, webcast live. You're going to get a lot of exposure. And this is on a Tuesday of next week, which falls coincidentally after they have to announce a merger. So my thought is they're going to start announcing the voting process there, possibly uh, give a little heads up on their earnings and their prospective for the future as a merger. So it makes sense they're going to be attending this. Now, there's a lot of companies that attend this. So it could be pretty meaningless, but at the same time, you got Naked and Benden that were both in the expo together, and now they're going to be attending a conference. It seems kind of like they're screaming merger to me, but that's just my opinion. We go a little bit further here. Most important thing to note is Benden would gain immediate access to the U.S. capital markets. I covered this in another video more extensively, but the short answer is that Benden would need millions and millions of dollars to expand into the U.S. market, and that could take years. They cut that time frame down significantly by partnering, aka the merger with a naked brand, giving them both exposure, both more funds to play around with, and a much broader market uh, to continue their expansion goes into details here and if you check out some of their SEC filings it talks a little bit more about that just check out some of my other videos I cover it in them we go a little bit quicker here to cover some last-minute things the Benin is a global leader in intimate apparel most notably to keep in mind here is they've been around since 1947 this business knows what they're doing they're not going anywhere and they got 4,000 doors across 34 countries and a growing network of 60 company-owned Benden retail and outlet stores in Australia, New Zealand, and Ireland. The U.S. is a, a big market, and they're only just branching out into it. So there's a lot of profit to be made both for the short-term and the long-term valuation for both Naked and Benden. Going a little bit further here, the two things to look out for is the 8K and an SC. 
13 G. Now there's going to be some other filings potentially, but the 8K simply, if you see one of them, that's very, very good news potentially. Now this would indicate that the definitive merger is a go most likely. Now there could be an 8K filing otherwise, but you see an 8K, be pretty excited. You'll probably notice a pre-market pop if there's actually good news. So there's that as well. The SC13G means that some institutions or someone else has a beneficial ownership, 5% or more, which means people are buying in in anticipation of the merger. Well, the last little bit here, of course, the uh, merger, pre-merger financing, they needed to do an offering to make compliant with the SEC. They did this with the Maxim Group. Hasn't been any updates really on that. The other thing to note here, as you can see, is that the compliance is March 22nd, 2017, so they can't really file an extension or uh, delay this really any longer than they already have the SEC. I don't think it'll be too strict on this guideline considering they're merging, and then I'm sure they understand the process, that it's a long process for the two companies to merge together potentially, so keep that in mind. So the SEC should be fairly nice on this. Of course, the offering shows an indication that they are attempting to do the pre-merger financing. And, of course, they will probably get an extension from NASDAQ. So you might even see that tomorrow as well as news. So that's something to keep in mind. Going a little bit further, you got the as soon as possible after the ex execution of this letter. But in no event later than February 22nd, 2017. Oh, ironically falls right around when their specific offering will be taking effect in regards to the SEC compliance. Now, the SEC compliance, as you've just seen, falls on a very similar day. I find that kind of ironic, so keep that in mind. So you got the compliance date, and you got the no later than February 22nd for the pre-merger financing that's not a coincidence that's for the SEC compliance so keep that in mind and as you can see I also highlighted a little bit here on the voting rights it goes into details here keep in mind each holder executing a voting agreement shall also agree to refrain from selling naked shares until the completion of the merger which means the price is going to hold up fairly well I covered this sort of with pip with a lockup agreement in another video if you want more details on that check out that video as you can see, it just it goes into different degrees of voting rights and all of that. You could read the SEC filing yourself if you'd like. Other than that, I believe that covers everything I wanted to cover within this video. Make sure to like and share this video with others to help inform them. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And thanks for listening in. Have a nice day.